This is the crazy story of Cursor. It's great to be back in New York, and I'm very excited to be here and talk on behalf of all of our engineering and research teams at Cursor. I wanted to speed rush building ChatGPT. How fast could they do it? So either for math or for some even like sort of even vaguer domains like sort of writing or anything else. Web. Rias code has been the dominant tool in software development for years. It's a reliable standard that millions of professionals rely on. To many, it seems impossible that anything could ever replace it. But a small team of students at MIT disagree. They saw a limitation in an old way of working. They believe that the future needs a tool that truly understand the code, not just display it. They decided to create a direct competitor called Cursor. This marked the beginning of a high-stake rivalry. It was not just a battle of feature, but a battle of philosophies. On one side was the industry giant with a massive lead. On the other side was the ambitious startup with a radical new approach. The outcome was unclear, but the impact on the world of coding would be profound. The story of Cursor begins with four students at MIT. Michael True, Soleh Asif, Arvid Lumark, and Aman Singer. They were all studying computer science, algorithms, and AI, but they shared a common frustration. They felt that the actual process of software engineering was broken. Instead of solving creative problems, developers were wasting time on repetitive tasks, fixing syntax, rewriting boilerplates, and managing logistics. The tools were slowing them down. Despite offers for high-paying jobs at tech giants like Google and OpenAI, the group made a deliberate choice. They turned down the stable path to start their own company. Their goal was to build a tool that would put developers' power first. Michael True, the CEO, became the company's guiding voice. With a background in algorithms, he envisioned a world where coding should feel like thinking. He argued that the boring logistics of coding were barrier to real creativity. This belief became the foundation for their new product. Soleh Asif, the chief product officer, took charges of bridging the gap between technical AI features and user needs. As a Pakistani-American engineer, he focused on making the tool inclusive and accessible, ensuring it fit the actual workflow of developers. Arvid Lumark, the CTO, was responsible for building the engine. His expertise in system engineering was crucial in creating the shadow workspace concept in Cursor allowing the tool to handle massive and complex code bases. Meanwhile, Aman Singer, the COO, used his business skill to run the daily operation and help the company grow. While at MIT, they gained key skills from classes blending AI theory and hands-on design work. This helped them question outdated tools like GitHub Copilot, which only suggests single lines of code. Instead, they envision a smarter editor that grasps a full project code and rewrites it on its own. This ambition led to the foundation of Anyspare in 2022. They were a new type of foundation team, technically trained, academically grounded, and boldly ambitious. Now to understand why Cursor stands out, you have to look at the fundamental differences between it and its main competitor, VS Code. VS Code was originally built as a text editor, AI features were added later, essentially as an extension. This means that AI often lives inside the sidebar, it has a limited awareness of the full code base, and it relies on the developers to manually provide the context. On the other hand, Cursor was designed differently from the day one. AI was built into the core of the editor, and keep in mind, it was not an add-on. It was the foundation. This architectural difference changes everything. In VS Code, the developer must constantly tell the AI what to look at. In Cursor, the AI works continuously in the background, maintaining a deep understanding of the project. This is what Cursor calls a full code base understanding. Instead of reading small snippets, Cursor AI automatically combines several layers of context, it reads the current file, tracks the recent changes, searches for semantic patterns, map dependencies, and even monitor active errors. The impact of this in productivity is significant. Because the AI understands the entire project structure, it eliminates the manual work of explaining context. Real-world test shows that Cursor can complete large refactors in about 4 minutes, a task that takes VS Code with Copilot roughly 7 minutes due to the needs of a manual file handling. 
Over the course of the years, these time savings add up to the entire days of work per developer. A major feature that utilizes this deep understanding is a cursor composer. Traditionally, developers edit files one by one, which is mentally taxing and prone to errors. Cursor flips this model. You describe a high-level goal like convert this entire module to TypeScript and the AI identifies every affected file, apply the changes and update dependencies automatically. This shifts the developers from file-level thinking to goal-level thinking. In October 2025, Cursor launched version 2.0. This update marked a major shift in philosophy, moving from an assistant model to an agent-first model. Previously, the AI acted as a helper that suggests code or answer questions. With Cursor 2.0, the AI became an agent, capable of planning, making decisions and completing tasks independently. Developers now define the goal and the AI figures out the steps. To power this, they introduce something called Composer, a custom language model built specifically for agent-based development. Unlike general models, Composer was trained using reinforcement learning on a real development workflow. It is specialized, fast and competitive with larger models, finishing most tasks in under 30 seconds. Cursor 2.0 also introduced support for multi-agent system. Up to 8 AI agents can now work simultaneously in separate environments. This allows for parallel problem solving, where one agent writes feature, another writes test, and third update documentation, all at the same time. They even added a built-in browser, allowing agents to test their own code. This closes the loop between writing and testing, as the AI can now run the code, detect errors, and fix them without human intervention. But as cursor grew, it attracted serious competitive pressure. In May 2025, Microsoft restricted cursor access to the official VS Code extension marketplace. This was a strategic move to weaken the competitor. Suddenly, cursor users were locked into the older version of extensions, including critical tools like Python extension, which pose known security risks. This highlighted a major weakness of relying on a reliable platform. In response, Cursor accelerated the development of its own proprietary tool to reduce reliance on the VS Code ecosystem, aiming to build a fully independent IDE. However, internal challenges emerged as well. By August 2025, Cursor faced a stability crisis. The user base had exploded to 7 million monthly users, and the infrastructure struggled to keep up. Crashes, bugs, and performance issues pledged the app. While the AI features were advanced, the tools itself became unreliable for daily work. Prominent developers publicly returned to VS Code, citing stability as their primary concern. This served as a reminder that reliability is just important as invention.